The cinema has no boundary. It is a ribbon of dreams. Orson Welles. A delightful and sparkling evening to one and all. Films are the fantastic tools to depict lofty thoughts and revolutionary ideas interlaced with creativity and innovation. To celebrate the essence and the essentials of films and create a vital link between filmmaking and the student community, the Board of Directors of Indian Schools in Oman have conceived the idea of providing the platform for the students of all Indian and international schools in Oman to script, act and direct short films through ISFF. And this year, we, the fraternity of ISM, are privileged and extremely honoured to host you all for the next three days as a part of the grand finale of the fourth edition of ISFF. The talent exhibited by the Indian and International School Students Fraternity through their thought content, imaginative and acting skills, direction and filmmaking will be showcased here in the next three days through the short films created by them. So, without much ado, let us witness the creative prowess of young minds through the first short film, The Decision. This film portrays how significant a teacher's understanding is of their students in moulding their future. Here, Ansh is such a student who was left optionless and was understood by his teacher at that very crucial point in his school life. Let's witness a teacher's influential role in the life of a student. Before screening the movie, let me inform you all that we will be posting a link in the description box by 5 pm. Please use it to vote for your favorite movie. The link will only be open till 9 pm. So here we go lights, camera, action. Ansh, listen here. Yes, sir. So, have you decided whether you take maths or bio yet? No, sir, not yet. Well, make up your mind. You have to submit the form in a couple of days. Dad, I've made my decision. Well, what's it about? That's the thing. I don't want to go into science. <laughs> what do you mean? I want to go into hotel management. I mean, for a long time, I've been wanting to pursue this field, but I've not taken any steps towards it. You know that. You have worked all these years of your life. And in the end, you want to end up in humanities? But Dad, I don't want to work a job where I feel miserable and incomplete. If mom was here, she would understand. Do not bring your mother into this. We both know that how hard we have worked to give you the best education we could. And in the end, you want to end up in humanities and hotel management?
You want to serve the guests? That's not that's not what the management is. No. You are taking sides and that's the end of the conversation. Phone lagi over here. Things are looking much easier. What's wrong, man? Should you see the traffic today? Nothing, sir. Just tired. Happy shit. Past and his dad wasn't paying signs, he's been having money down lately. I don't know what's happening. Okay, problem. Thank you. Yes, good afternoon. Is this Arch's father? Yes, I would like to talk to you about your son's behavior in class. Yes, today. Thank you. So, lately Ansh has been completely out of touch with the environment, distracted and no interest in anything whatsoever. So what do you want me to do about it? You are the teacher. It's your job to make my son feel comfortable in the class. I know, sir, but uh, your son's friend told me that Ansh is not comfortable uh, with the stream he chose. Sir, so is that the reason you have called me? Look sir, I'm really a busy man. I have a lot of things to take care about. The boy wants to pursue his career in hotel management. Sir, but hotel management is developed and a progressing field at the moment. I don't think it's too late to change the boy's field. Do not tell me how to run the family. I've worked all these years of my life to get a good reputation in the society. If the boy chooses hotel management, what would the people think? Unlike my father, I really care about my son's future. So, why does it really matter what the people think? Would you really want your son Ansh to grow up unhappy for his entire life just for a good paycheck? Instead, he could be pursuing his dream and passion. This unhappiness is just temporary. Soon, he will know the importance of being in a science batch. Uh, look sir, I'm done talking to you. I have to go now. Did he really make the decision, or did you? Ash, come here. Sit here. Uh... Son, look, uh, I have changed my mind and I assume that you must stick to your dreams and uh, you can pursue a career in hotel management. Hearing that, what pretty things you mind? 
The reason is that I have been continuously watching your passion towards this field, and I know that you have good knowledge, and I have done some research on this field. It's, I mean, it's not a bad field, but as you have good knowledge and passion towards it, I allow you to take uh, hotel management. And we both know that things did not go quite easy for both of us since mom has passed away, and me forcing you to take science wasn't good either. So never think that I'm not there for you. I'll always be there for you. Thank you so much, Dad. Yeah. You won't regret this. Yeah, I know I won't, sir. Wow, what an amazing movie it was. Let me remind you about the voting link for your favorite short film. It will be posted by 5 p.m. Let's move on to the next short film, Email Scamming. This movie is the vivid portrait of the inner conflict of a tuition teacher who struggles to make ends meet and gets ensnared in email scamming. In the true sense, this film offers entertainment while bringing the needed attention to the awareness of these devastating crimes. Nasser, who is struggling with the vicissitudes of time, overdue bills, multiple eviction notices, and an unprivileged income, wrestles to make ends meet for his sister and himself. By giving tuitions, he barely makes an amount for his basic living needs. Can you tell me an example of subject pronoun? Yeah. Can you tell me an example of object pronoun? Him, her, it's an us. Can you tell me an example of object pronoun? Your. Right. You tell me an example of reflexive pronoun. It's self Okay, students, that's it for today. I'll check your home assignments tomorrow. Mona, please come here. Is it possible for your father to pay me in advance? Actually, I'm in need of some urgent money. Uh, I doubt that would be possible because my father is out of town and won't be back till the end of the month. It's okay. As the students leave, Shiza, their neighbor, comes to visit them. Meanwhile, Nasser checks his mailbox where he notices a new mail. He reads out the mail about him winning the jackpot and gets thrilled. Oh my god, am I dreaming? Is this for real? Farah, come here, have a look at this. No, no, Nasser, this can't be true. We're not lucky enough to win a national lottery. No, Farah, I've seen so many people win these types of lotteries. God has finally listened to your prayers. Congratulations. No, Shiza, I still can't believe this. I think, Shiza, you're right. I still can't process the fact that we are becoming billionaires. Also, luck has knocked our door. Why not give it a try? Mr. David from the David Charitable Trust is asking for 75 reals for the transfer of the prize money. But how will I arrange such big amount of money? Mm, let me ask Farah. Uh, 
Laura, can you lend me some money for a while? Firstly, I don't have any cash. And secondly, is this for your stupid jackpot? If I tell her it's for the jackpot, she would never give me money. No, no, no. It's for my friend. He urgently needs some money. But I don't have any cash. Zahid, I desperately need your help. Why? What happened? My sister is not feeling well and I need money for our medical aid. Can you please give me some money on loan? I promise to give you back within two weeks. Okay, sure. No problem. Here you go. Thank you very much. Finally, Nasser manages to transfer the amount and receives acknowledgement. Thank you for your cash deposit. You have now entered the jackpot winning scheme. To cash a prize, you need to further transfer 200 riyals in order to convert it into your local currency. What? Now from where I'll get this exceedingly large amount? Mm, let me think. Idea for us good. Nasser pledged for us gold in exchange for demanded money, which he had to deposit for the jackpot. On his way back, Nasser met his friend Zahid, who told him about the increasing rates of email scamming. Have you come across the news of email scamming? No, what is that all about? It's a gang of scammers and innocent people get scammed with it. No, don't tell me. Am I the victim of the same scam? Nasser hustling his way back home, checking email. Yet another email asking for more money sits in trauma, realizing he lost everything, even his last asset. Now it's too late for Nasser, the game has changed. Nasser, being an educationist, got trapped in his greed and became a target of email scams. We all like to think we're immune to scams. Scammers are getting so good at it that even cybersecurity experts are taken in. Data from Google Safe Browsing shows that there are now nearly 75 times as many phishing sites as there are malware sites on the internet. Almost 20% of all employees are likely to click on phishing emails and of those targeting 68% go on to enter their credentials on the phishing website. Targets are normally chosen based on their age, rank, or social status. One simple way to avoid being tricked is to be careful with our data. The rule of thumb is, if you don't want to, someone to know it, then don't put it online. Hardworking is a blessing, and lottery, jackpots, and shortcuts are black money. Thank you. kept you all glued to the screen, isn't it? Please don't forget to vote for your favorite movie. The link to vote is in the description box. Next, we have Karma, the short film that explores the great philosophy of Karma. It is the story of a man who offers helping hand to a lady in trouble and he refuses to take the money given by the lady in return. But later, this money reaches to help the same person. This movie teaches us to perform our duty without the expectation of fruits.
बच्चा ओ माई गॉड वॉट है हेलो 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 प्लीज स्टॉप 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 प्लीज हेलो प्लीज स्टॉप चे डैम इट एक्सक्यूज मी कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प मी माई कार इज नॉट स्टार्टिंग आई हैव टू ट्रेवल सो फार Let me check. Please hold this. Don't know what happened suddenly. Car got stuck and I don't know what to do. Have you tried to start? Okay. 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 Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you so much. Please take this. No, no, no. You keep it. I just helped you. I didn't help you for any money or something. If you really want to help someone. Give this to someone who really needs it. Okay, bye. Not giving back my money tomorrow itself. I will come with the police. Okay? One tea, please. with you 
you will also get a chance to help somebody else In that time you have to give it back okay No need to wait for anyone else for taking the money. I got all the money for tomorrow's test. Everything is fine. Come back fast. Keep it with you. You will also get a chance to help somebody else. In that time, you have to give it back. If you really want to help someone, give this to someone who really needs it. Okay? Bye. It was indeed a thought-provoking movie. Let me once again remind you all about the voting link for your favorite short film. Do vote for your favorite movie. Now, it's time to screen the next short film, Unspoken. This is the story of a pair of siblings who are unable to convince their parents that they are physically abused and need assistance. The movie films the mental agony of the children who encountered abuse in their own household which is widely regarded as haven She calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right Hey, let's go party tonight I also don't sit in Michelob Yeah, done Yeah, that's right, it's been so long we have met Yeah But I'm not sure if my parents will allow You do one thing, you call them and flatter them, you know Girls, they probably won't allow. If, it were, if I was a boy, maybe they would. I'll do one thing. I'll try to convince them, and then I'll call. Okay, I'll ask and I'll call. Yeah, bye. Hey, Angle. Hi, da. Hey, Angle. 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 Hey, But if he goes and abuse someone, hey, ma, stop dragging. It's a problem. Let's not go there. Hey, Aishwarya. Long time no see, bro. Yeah, it's been so long. Are you late? Leave it. How should I? He is my family and my husband. She changed a lot. I miss those days.
You have the whole freedom to go out. You can do whatever you want. You can go in taxi. You can go with your friends. No one is ever going to ask you. Guys, sing me the freedom is everything you say. You don't know what we're going. Through. You can't even express our emotions. Do you know what I'm going through? Do you even care? Do you have you ever asked me if I have felt anything or if I'm feeling insecure? You don't even care what I'm going through. Our oh, own oh, anger tried to abuse us. Do you even care? Are you going to do this earlier? I'm sorry. You're going through the same thing, right? description box the next short film shades of purple showcases the stereotypical social attitude towards girls and boys the film gives an insight to the spectators to see a universe that is completely balanced appears purple and a beautiful mixture of pink and blue that assigns equal merit to both the genders
Abhi, <sighs> look at this mess. Before Auntie comes in, we have to clean up this. I don't even know why Mom even called her. We are 16. We can handle it. Ha! I myself don't believe you. You know, you are smelly. You don't even brush your teeth. If I wasn't there, you have burned this house. <laughs> Just as gorgeous. It must be difficult without mom around now. Damn What is this? Taking care of the house is girl's responsibility. And you're named after goddess Lakshmi. And if you leave like this, Lakshmi mom will go away. Now clean this up immediately. I'm sorry, Antia. Abhi, don't worry. She has to do, do these works for her husband one day. Now come on, ba. Auntie, this smells so good. Is this ghee dosa? I'm starving and I have cleaned my room. So I can have it, right? My goodness, Ramu, don't be so impatient. Is this how you'll behave when you get married? Now go get this to your brother. Go. What? Go. Century and girls don't have to do everything. Abhi, you shut up. Ramo, quit whining and just eat after you have done everything. Go! What are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You still think it's useful having her around? Listen, it's just a few more days, then we will get rid of it. Bro, I'm so excited for the party. You heard the rumor, right? What's the gossip? You know Yatish, right? He is bringing his pet 
snake for the date dance. <laughs> that you this, na? What's going on here? Where are you both going? Friends out for the New Year party. In those clothes? Right now? Yes, auntie. We both asked mom and dad for permission. Arey, abhi. I'm not talking about you. I meant about Ramu. Ramu, don't you have any sense? No manners. Girls from good household don't go out at night. It's not safe. It's unsafe for girls to go out during night. Then it's unsafe for boys too, right? Why is the gender difference, auntie? If she doesn't go, neither will I. No, Ramu, I'm not going without you. Abhi, what was the need to act like that? She will feel bad, right? I don't care what you say. Auntie has a very narrow thinking and she is still stuck in the 18th century. Besides, who will stand up for you if not your brother? Hey, Abhi, what's up? You look like a girl with all this makeup. Yeah, Abhi, and what's up with that necklace? Oh, he probably wants to be like that loser Harry style. <laughs> Thanks, uh, maybe Abhi wants a girl to stand up for me. What an insightful movie. Let me once again remind you all about the voting link for your favorite short film. Do vote for your favorite movie. Next, it's time to screen the next short film, What You Seek is Seeking You. Mother Earth nourishes humans and all other living things. This movie reveals the real happiness of the protagonist when he indulges with nature. So, let's get ready to witness the magic of nature.
Yes! Let's go! Boyard! Can we play something? No. Wilson wanted to play something. No. Get out. What is Saint is seeking? 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 What is Saint is seeking?
Wow! What an amazing movie it was! Let me remind you about the voting link for your favorite short film. It will be posted in the description box. Next, it's time to screen the short film The Broken Cage. The story of Maya, a teenager who's leading a tormenting life, who struggles between her studies and her dreams. In order to make her parents happy, she sacrifices her happiness and deals with it all by herself. The film offers an open-ended question to the spectators whether the, the protagonist will be able to enjoy her life or not. Maya? Maya, wake up. Maya? Maya, look, what's the time, Maya? Maya, wake up. Hi, I'm Maya and this is my not so happy life. On the outside, it may look like I enjoy everything I do, but that's not the case. I'm made to be dependent on my studies. It's not that books are my enemy, it's just that too much of something is not good. I imagined my life to be something else, but as I grew up, it turned out bad. Too bad. Feels like a dream is a wish to be free. What feels like a knot is a world lots of glee. And I sing in harmony. I saw the thunder crash on the radio head. It was shot on cozy. Okay, Maya, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Maya, listen, I'm going for a sports meet today. Anyway, I'm not coming. 
Something up again. You guessed it. Everything and everyone is just so hard on me. It's like I'm living someone else's life. Being told what to do, what to not. So what is the use of complaining? Do you think this is helping? And what am I supposed to do? I'm so tired, I can't even express my feelings. Better to let it all out than bottling up, bottling it up and then regretting it. Maya. Don't waste your time. Go and study. Maya, tomorrow is the last date for registering. Are you registering or not? And it was like so good. I really love like every second of it. And hey, I tell that, that's one on this uh, later. You just have. Thank you. Okay. So guys, got your children's test paper? My child is so great. I didn't even expect that. Oh, good for you. I know she did pretty good. What about you, Vida? Oh, don't ask. Her dad works abroad just for her to score a 46. And she's not even ashamed about it. Maya, what's wrong? Maya, you're a very good student. These marks are not for you. Children, you know, they think everything is so easy. For me, when I needed you the most, you were not there. All my life, I did everything you guys wanted. Whatever you wanted, I did. Mom, you never understood me.
yesterday when I said I'm going to follow my dream till then No shy of a quick remark Tell me whatever you want But it's the fear of being loved I could if you got a wheels But a body must just seal Quick or there's a reason I get caught Look at her from behind the bars My eyes fall on a new car Why is it that it's only my stream? But I guess I have to follow my dream Oh, well, it's not my dream My hands are tied Like my hair on an autumn breeze I'm sorry I tried and if I dare to speak, I begin the hide. It's like it's my job to stay back and cry. It was indeed an amazing dramatization. Please don't forget to vote for your favorite movie. The link to vote is in the description box. The next short film, Path to Destruction, explores the theme of how the teenagers, even the studious ones, are getting addicted to drugs out of curiosity and end up destroying their lives. This is truly an inspirational movie for the teenagers to protect themselves from such atrocities. Sir, I know the answer. Yes, Rohan. Go. Sir, osmoregulation is the control of water and electrolyte balance in the body. Very good, Rohan. Can you explain what denitrification is? Sir, denitrification is the process in which uh, anaerobic bacteria converts nitrate ions into nitrogenase. Excellent, Rohan. Be seated. Now, please turn to page 169. Bro, how do you study? Bro, how do you answer such hard questions? Bro, I want to enter my dream college. So, I'm working hard for my entrance exam. Okay. Yes! Finally, I got admitted to my dream college. I have to say this to Dad. Dad! I want to say something to you. Yeah, what? Dad, I got admitted to my dream college. Oh, that's great, my son. Wow, I'm so proud of you, my son. Thank you, Dad. Son, you're going to see the real world. You may be facing so many problems. So, stay away from all the bad things that go into us. Leave it, Dad. I'll take care of it. Anyways, good luck, son. Thank you, Dad. Hi Daksha. Oh hi Rohan. Bro, long time no see. How's life? Life's great. What about you, bro? Bro, studies are too much hectic, too much to learn. Yeah, same for me. It's so hectic, right? Especially when the teachers start teaching and then we forget to co concentrate on ourselves. It's literally so hectic. Bro, ma'am gave us lots of homework. I don't know what to do. I'm uh, sitting in home and completing my notes. So exams coming, right? How are you preparing? 
Yeah, exactly, bro. Lot to study. It's so hectic, bro. Especially I can't stay up at night to study, bro. It's just so hectic, bro. Anyway, exams are so frustrating. I I didn't even learn a little bit. Anyway, I have something which will reduce the stress and frustration, and will keep you awake throughout the night so that you can study and then score good marks. Oh, what's that? Hey, yo. You know that's illegal, right? You know you will get caught by the authorities, right? I knew it from the starting that you were scared. I'm not scared, but I'm not doing this. Hey, Rohan. If you have any second thoughts, come back to me, loser. I'm not a loser like you. I'll give it a try, but don't annoy me again. Okay, whatever. What's happening to me? Why am I sweating? Why am I sweating? Good morning, students. So, students, uh, the papers of the previous days has been corrected. So I'm going to uh, distribute the papers. So I hope everyone has scored two marks. Daksha, 15 out of 15. Excellent job. Thank you. Ahmad, 10 out of 15. Not bad. Thank you. Thomas, 14 out of 15. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Rohan, you used to score good marks, right? What happened to you, child? So, stay away from all the bad things that gold do for us. Leave it, Dad. I'll take care of it.
indeed a thought provoking movie let me once again remind you all about the voting link for your favorite short film do vote for your favorite movie now it's time to screen the next short film beware the story brilliantly captures the life of a full time hacker and his friends who make their living by fraudulent means it gives an insight to the spectators to keep themselves away from the deceiving means of mankind Yes. What do you want? I I need it. start ready. I'll look after it. Thank you. I am Charlie, part-time delivery executive and a full-time hacker. Yeah. Are you Vijay Kumar? You won 4 lakh amount from our bank, Bank of Life. Wait, wait. No, I'm not Vijay Kumar. Who are you talking about? So then, who is Vijay Kumar? How would I know? Would I just get that money? Or no? I can just make a deal and split the money. deal yes sir what deal you can give me 50 percent of the money rest you can keep it sir i'm in it but then you have to give me five star rating in my bank application okay sure so sir i've sent a link to your phone please open it uh, I... sir uh, please send me your bank account and your phone number sir you will receive
थैंक यू थैंक यू Yes. Sir, sir. Yes. Sir, my bank account got hacked. Oh, hey, calm down. Take this paper and write a complaint. Whatever I did till now was it right or wrong however in a dilemma i am on the correct path with the wrong route good morning sir good morning So the number the person gave yesterday in the FIR is getting an incoming call right now. Track it. Okay. Someone is tracking us from the past one and a half hours. We got to leave this place. Sir, both the numbers are present at the same location. Move. Charlie Dad expired I came into hacking because my dad expired and I had no other idea at that moment of what to do So you guys shouldn't think like me work hard and get what you need an amazing movie it was let me remind you about the voting link for your favorite short film the link to vote is in the description box now it's time to screen the short film schizophrenic 
a visual treat for all those who love to explore the mysterious world around us. Varun, the protagonist, symbolizes a community that suffers from schizophrenia. The film portrays the realms of happiness awaiting those who dare to fight their inner conflict. Dear Diary, it's my first time writing a diary, so I'm not really sure what to write in it. I'm Varun and I'm 16 years old. My life just doesn't go normally. My parents are very busy with their work and have barely any time for me. I don't have any friends and it feels very alone. I keep hearing voices and sometimes even images. Lately it's getting worse. Apart from that, headaches, migraines and sleep deprivation and randomly experiencing emotions, especially during the worst of times. I'm not really sure how I'm going to treat it, but I, I just have to live with it. Arama. That's pretty much it. Good night, diary. Yo, Harun, did you do the homework? Homework? What homework? She gave the homework like three days ago. How have you not done it till now? I know. Bro, you're so dumb, man. Like, improve on yourself. Like, she told you three times. She told she'll make you write the homework five times if you don't do it now. Man, come on. How have you not remembered to do it? Why did you not remember to do it? I had nightmares. So what nightmares? It's all fake. Just stop thinking about it.
caution light. They keep on telling me either to kill other people or kill myself. I have to kill myself now. No, it's the only way to stop. No, no, no. You don't need to do this. Why? I can't no, live like this. I, I wanted to apologize for earlier. Like I already saw you all fading away and uh, you know not able to listen in class. I, I came to help you and then suddenly I see you running here and there. I, I got I got scared, bro. Why are you running? There's no point no, anymore. Don't, don't, man. Don't. You you have a reason to live. What ah, reason? What reason? I will be your friend. We can be friends. Come on. You don't need to. You don't need to end it like this. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. I promise. Just, just give me a chance. And medicines won't cure me. What do you think you can do? Medicines? Chuck medicines for now. You just stay with me. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Give me a chance. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, you got it. What an insightful movie it was. Please remember to vote for your favorite movie. The link to vote is in the description box. Next, it's time to screen the short film, Death. The theme deeply delves into a child's nightmare and the struggle to escape from the unpleasant thoughts of the unconscious state of mind. The child's resolution to overcome the negative effects and the determination to lead a happy life is a valuable message to society.
take two people, one believes in ghosts and one doesn't. You put both in haunted houses and in the middle of the night there's a bang. The person who believes in ghosts is now terrified. He's panicking and hiding in this room. The person who doesn't believe in ghosts goes, that's just the wind and goes back to sleep. Same noise, same scenario, but it's a belief that's powerful. It's a belief of the mind that turns against people. It was indeed a thought-provoking movie. Please don't forget to vote for your favorite movie. The link to vote is in the description box. Next, we have the short film, Don't Give Up. The film beautifully narrates the power of parents in molding a child's future. The bond between a parent and a child is the best medicine and the parent support is the best cure for a popularly increasing problem in our life. That is stress. Now let me tell you about a planet which constantly revolves on the orbit and contains life. And it's the only planet where stress, anxiety, depression is common among people. And that planet is none other than our Earth. So let us see how on Earth people deal with different kinds of emotions in there. Given 10.5 centimeter and slant height is given 10 centimeter. So we are supposed to find the curved surface area. And the formula for finding the curved surface area is pi r l, in which we don't know the radius. So for finding the radius, we are supposed to divide diameter by two. By two. Yeah, and we'll get an answer. So with that, we find the radius. So we can directly using the formula, we can find the curved surface area. 
so we'll be continuing the chapter surface area and volume and we'll be doing the first question okay ma'am a plastic box of 1.5 meter long and 1.25 meter wide and 65 cm deep is to be made it is to be opened at the top ignoring the thickness of the plastic sheet determine the first sub question the area of the sheet required for making the box so i hope you all understood what is thought today and all the concept related to the formulas yes ma'am so i'll be conducting a small test tomorrow based on these formulas test uh, tomorrow yeah, ma'am please no no ma'am no please ma'am no i don't want to hear anything the test will be conducted tomorrow and if you score less marks then i'll send it to your parents so learn and come to parents why yeah yeah you have to learn and come okay ma'am okay Good evening, students. Good evening, ma'am. So, are you ready for the test? Test today? Yeah, I told you yesterday. Uh, ma'am, I, 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 I forgot to. No problem. You have to take the test. So, take a paper and write all the formulas that we have discussed last class, and you are supposed to make it as a PDF and send it to me. Ma'am, like after we complete it today? Yeah, today itself. In this period, you are supposed to. Complete and send it to me. You just have thirty-five minutes, oh. and I guess it's more than enough to just write a formula. Uh, Mama, I'll try. You have to. Time is up. You may start sending. Mama, can you give me some more time, please? No, 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 no. I gave you thirty-five minutes. You're supposed to finish it on that time. Okay, okay ma'am. Um, I will try to send it to you. Ma'am, I sent it to you. Can you see? Yeah, I have received it from you, Ravi. So I'll correct the papers and send it to you by today evening. Okay, ma'am. Today evening. Yeah, today evening. I'm gonna send. So see you next class. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Bye.
Bye God. Bye exam ne sabse. Sure. movie it was isn't it let me once again remind you all about the voting link for your favorite short film please vote for your favorite movie next it's time to screen grief a heart touching short film in which a letter from a father transforms the life of a young boy who was grief stricken at the loss of his dear friend the words in the letter give the young boy hope to explore the world in a noble way It's hard to move on after you lose someone dear to you. Dealing with the passing of your best friend, people always just say, "Oh, move on. Past is past." But it 
it's not really easy as it sounds. Moving on. It's been two weeks since he left us. He hadn't told me or anyone else other than his parents about his disease. <sighs> All my life, I thought I had a friend whom I could rely upon. But when he passed away, things became pretty hard for me. Loneliness engulfed me, not because I was alone. I had my family with me and classmates with whom I could have shared things too. But I just refused to open up to them. Because I felt that no one would care enough. They could have been ready to hear me out. But I just refused to see that. And then sometime after his death, I got a letter from his dad. Amar had written it the day before he died. I will be gone soon. I know you must hate me for not telling you earlier about my disease. I just didn't want you to be sad. I wanted to see you happy till the very end. I want you to know one thing that I'm happy. I really am happy that I lived my life with loving parents and a best friend like you. I really am grateful, but uh, I want you to forget me. Leave me behind in the past and uh, move on with your life. Make new friends, chase your dreams until they come true. 
uh, I won't worry with a long letter. Be happy, okay? Your friend, Amar. His letter inspired me in a way. I decided to share my feelings and finally fight my grief. I made new friends and became more social. But the reality is that you will grieve forever. You will never get over the passing of someone. You will learn to live with it. You will learn to heal and move on in the journey of life. an amazing dramatization once again requesting you all to vote for your favorite movie the link to vote is in the description box now let's watch the last short film for today insecurities a film that guides us to reform our approach towards our body it makes us rethink one's perception of the body its multidimensional construct and its cognitive component involving our attitudes and feelings for as long as i can remember i was hiding my belly my thighs anything that i thought was unlovable in the media's eyes i remember in 6th grade crushing hard on a boy and writing in my diary about how he would never like me because there was a skinnier girl in class and looking back i wish i could just give my younger self a huge hug and tell her that there was nothing wrong with her that she was beautiful and loved i was so mean to myself then and i guess i can still be mean to myself from time to time insecurities i can't think of one person that doesn't have them the universal and almost kind of quirky now in a weird way it's comforting to hear me too when someone says they hate their body or themselves And if you think about it, isn't that really sad? One of the biggest things I've heard about insecurities is that insecurities are taught. We weren't born with them. If you think back hard enough, you might remember the first time you ever felt hurt, criticized, or weighed. And while we are not totally conscious of it, that scar is there. But what if it wasn't in the first place? What if nobody made fun of you? What if the media never put a spotlight on the very things you think are flaws? What if businesses never used your insecurities as their products that claim to fix the issues they themselves have created? It makes me think if the world and have a hold on us, what would we think of ourselves? What would our true inner being say? Perhaps we were the security we were looking for. Perhaps we were already everything that we needed. perhaps we have to look within ourselves to be secure with this We have come to an end of today's screening but more is yet to come kindly open the link in the description box and do vote for your favorite movie before 9 pm see you all tomorrow same time same place thank you and have a pleasant evening